On Saturday, a group of businessmen accused the Miss Chigund of Ham Enterprises of illegally occupying Nachivo Stadium land, which he plans to develop. They also accused the businessman of violating an interim order issued by court. Nachivo is in one bed now with Ham, which we know. The case we saw, we saw we were, which is in court, is Ham and Nachivo. The interim order was restricting the Nachivo Board of Trustees from terminating the contract initially given to Future Land Limited. However, this morning, an associate of Chigund, Edward Nachivinge, defended the businessman. He claimed plans to redevelop the land were granted by Nachivo Stadium Board of Trustees. Because the, the law is blind to anybody, whether it's the, who, son of president or uh, a friend of president, the, court, the law is law. I think we are still in order. The government is trying to help us to enforce the redevelopment in line with the partnership with the Board of Trustees. So, as I have already said, that Mr. Kayongo has already gone to court and it is the court to determine. And it is not the one to enforce the court order. I think it is the court to enforce. He also appealed to politicians to resist from politicking on matters that can hold back development. I think we have just concluded the elections and we it's time to implement government programs. I think Lord Mayor should have come with, with his councillor, should have come and join us to redevelop the city and then to enforce the, the trade order instead of politicking around. The latest feud among his businessmen, which was bubbling below the radar, came to surface barely after the vendors were evicted from the Chivo Packyard Market last week. Suhail Mugavi, NTV.